I chose Pacific because when I came out on my visit here and I met the girls, they, everyone was awesome. And the coaches were awesome and we all got along really, really well. And there's a small school feel and I was looking for that coming from University of Arizona, which is a gigantic school. So I've experienced both and I know that small school feel is definitely for me, as it is for a lot of people, but mostly it was because my coaches were awesome and my teammates were awesome. The Tigers get the offensive rebound, they'll retain possession. Butler again, three ball, got it from the right corner. Aaron Butler for the first time tonight gets that three ball to go. There's never really more than about 20 or 30 people in a classroom, so that uh, makes your connection with the teacher that much more personal. Uh, you're not really just another number in a classroom. Uh, all the teachers know your name and they really go out of their way to make sure that you succeed. I'd say my favorite thing about the campus is just being so close to home. It's really nice being able to see my family and my friends when they come home. I just like the campus overall. It's When it's nice outside, you can go for walks and um, the campus is pretty, the flowers, the trees. Um, I really like the brick buildings. It's just a good feel all around. My first visit I came and right when I stepped on campus, I was like, whoa, this campus is really pretty and it reminded me of some East Coast schools that I had visited. First off, UOP is a beautiful campus. It's one of the uh, most beautiful campuses on the West Coast. It models the campuses on the East Coast. We are here at the office of the president. Uh, president Ibeck and her husband, Bill Jeffrey, are uh, big athletic supporters and they're, they're our, uh, big fans of our program. They come to our games. Uh, President Ibeck has been an honorary coach uh, for, our, for a few games of ours in the, in the past. Uh, having that support from our president uh, is incredible for women's basketball and so that's why this is my favorite spot on campus. And as you can see, uh, the architecture, the brick, the trees, that's, it's this way all over campus. I'm from here in Stockton. Nice move to the rack for the Tigers, Unique Coleman. Okay, unique in the scoring column. I'm fortunate enough to have all my friends and family, uh, people I went to high school with, high school coaches, uh, being able to come here and watch me grow as a player and as a person. So uh, coming to Pacific was a big part of that. I picked the OP mostly because of the fact that it's super prestigious. Um, when I looked at it, at first I didn't know where UOP was or what it was about, but when I looked online and read about it, I found out how it was super prestigious and the academics were great and um, the basketball was great and there's good coaches. So I think I, I think the two top things that I picked the OP over were the uh, academics and basketball. But when I got to campus, the campus also won me over because it kind of looked like an East Coast school on the West Coast, so that was really nice. On a 5 nothing lead, a chance at a four-point play, Haley Eccles knocks down the second three for the Tigers. So then I met the coaches and they were really nice and then I met some of the teammates and I automatically fit in and it was it was really nice. They were all uh, really welcoming and overall I think the campus is what got me the most. It's just how small and compact it was but beautiful at the same time. So one of my professors, his name was Professor Thiel, he was my PAX professor for both PAX 1 and 2. He comes to all of our games all the time and he'll e email me after the games about how I did or how my teammates did. He loves Maddie, he loves Haley, he loves Sticks. He always messages me about how well they've been doing. So it's cool. It's, I've had other professors at a lot of my games and student athletes come into. And so it's nice because you, we have a crowd that we personally know. As an athlete, the teachers um, are interested in how we're doing uh, in the season. Like, I'll come back from a trip and they'll say, you know, congratulations or good game. I think uh, my experience has been nothing but great with when it comes to like my fa the faculty and all the classes I've taken. Um, they've been really helpful and understanding about having to travel a lot. Um, they, were, they always keep in great contact with um, me, especially when I like go on the road. Um, if I have to miss an exam, there's, I haven't had any issues of having to try and make it up. Um, they'll either, you know, I'll have to take it at a later date, take it on the road, or take it before. So it's all it's been it's been pretty nice to have like the support from the faculty um, this year and like the past few years I've been here. Classroom sizes are really small, and um, you're able to get all the help you need. And your professors are very hands-on. Um, you're able to get your work done, um, have the help you need. So in our program, we you know trying to have as much fun as possible while winning as many games as possible. We try to create opportunities for our players 
to have memories and experiences. Uh, the first thing that comes to mind with that is we took our team to France on a foreign tour. Uh, you know, a lot of schools our size don't have those opportunities, uh, but luckily we have an administration that, that sees the value in that. And so we were able to take our whole team and staff and families over to France. We played four games and, and we were over there 12 days. Uh, and it was just an unbelievable experience. And the players have talked about that as being one of the highlights of their career. Uh, that's something we want to continue doing as often as the NCAA allows it. Uh, as of now, you're allowed to do it every four years, so we're going to continue to do that every four years so that we give each one of our players an international experience uh, like that, a foreign tour. And so that's just one of the things at Pacific that we provide our student athletes that sets us apart. So Pacific, we're in the West Coast Conference, and it's a super good conference, really good competition. Play against teams like BYU and Gonzaga and St. Mary, San Diego, the list goes on. All really good competition. Being in the West Coast Conference, there's a lot of rivalries. There's a lot of teams that are close to us, such as Santa Clara, San Francisco, St. Mary's, which is one that we've had a little rivalry with for the past few years. Even when we weren't in their conference, we were always playing them and it's always a great battle against them. So it's really nice to have you know, teams that are really close to us and be able to play them. Yeah, Nard drains another two, and it's 23-12. Uh, it's an 11-point advantage as Kenyon breaks loose and scores underneath against uh, Amanda Arter. Kenyon broke loose there under the low post and banked home the little uh, short shot. You come to a school in the West Coast Conference, you come to Pacific, you're gonna have a chance to play at a high level in conference. Uh, seventh best conference in the country, play at a high level, uh, play against great teams, great competition, and you're going to have a chance professionally, if you so choose, uh, to pursue those options. Uh, that being said, on top of that basketball-wise, you're going to be in an academic environment that is unique. When I was looking to transfer, uh, a big concern for me was how well I'm going to get along with my teammates, which is pretty much all players' concerns, always. And you'll come onto a campus, and coaches will tell you, you know, that we have all the players get along, that there's no drama, and la di da di da And majority of the time, you come to find out that that's not true at all. But when I came to Pacific on my, on my visit, it was so clear to me that we have something different than most programs have. And really, we aren't drama, and we really do love each other. And I can't, I can't make that up, like how true that is. As a team, we absolutely adore each other. And then the coaches all get along so well too. They all love each other. And we are, truly, we are a family. Pacific being close to Sacramento and San Francisco is very convenient. Um, when we do have time off, or like the weekend off, we'll go to the beach in Santa Cruz or we'll take a day trip to San Francisco to shop for the day. And the airport is in Sac, so that's very convenient too. It's only about 45 minutes away. From the field. USF 9 of 22, inside of 41%. Pettinger backdoor cut, finds Eccles, long three ball, got it! Haley Eccles from the right corner three, and she was fouled as well. It's a very rare four point opportunity for Haley Eccles and the Tigers. With Pacific being so small, the student athletes are very close. Um, we have a real family atmosphere. We support each other at our games and on the weekends. We really like to go to baseball games and everything like that. Our school is so small, which means that there's also kind of a smaller um, size of athletes, which I, you know, kind of creates like a family. And we all support each other a lot. I know like soccer games are some of our favorite games to go to, and we're just now about to be getting a men's soccer team, so I have a feeling that's going to be pretty popular. Um, and excited to go to those games too. Baseball, we have a be like beautiful field and facility, so it's fun to go out. And the softball fields are right across the way, so sometimes when they have double headers, it's just kind of like a day to go out and like you know have popcorn and hot dogs, hang out with your friends, and go uh, see both games and support your friends. Coach Roberts up in front of us, calling out the play set. St. Mary's goes to the 2-3 zone. It looks like on this possession, the Tigers work it out on the perimeter. Haley Eccles finds the open spot in the zone at the free throw line and then pulls up a short range jumper and scores. Nice athletic play by the Tigers sophomore, Haley Eccles. Playing under Coach Rob is really fun because we play a style of basketball where it's a dribble drive, so you get to do what you're best at, but you're also playing as a team. And I think as a player, you grow a lot also because you find what you're good at and also what makes your teammates better at the same time. And has got a couple of free throws there. The Tigers back up by eight points here, 22-14. They'll throw the full court pressure on, get a steal in the backcourt. KJ reaches in and steals it, and the Tigers go to work. Pettinger with a three ball, right corner. Got it! 
Sammy Pettinger drains the three balls cleanly through the net. And just like that, the Tigers up by 11 at 25-14. We don't really run screens or a slow down offense. We get to run on teams and we end up tiring teams out and that's usually how we win games is how fast we play and just our intensity overall. It's definitely fun to play fast besides slow. I mean, who wants to walk the ball up and run a bunch of screens and get told how to play when you can just do what you're good at and play as a team? In terms of on the floor, uh, what does our team play like? What do we look like out there? Uh, our goal is always to be very up-tempo. Um, we want to force the, 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 the tempo of the game to be fast. The University of San Francisco will be in Spano Center Saturday at 2 to have you here. Butler gets a beautiful feed from Kiki Moore and makes a layup. Uh, we like to recruit athletes that can score points. Kiki changes direction, flip it up and in! She's on fire in the second half, 18 points. She's got 20 in the ball game, and the Tigers have opened it up. And at the end of the day, the goal of the game is to score more points than your team, the other team. The Pacific Tigers as the three seed under head coach Lynn Roberts Moving on to Monday's semifinal where they will await either BYU or Pepperdine. So that's what we try to do. Uh, we have led the conference in scoring many years that I've been a head coach. Uh, we, we do try to score. Now every player will, will tell you, yeah, I want to get up and down and score a lot of points. But to do that, you got to play great defense and you got to be in great shape. Bring it up court. We'll get to the officials at the next break when we can. Madison Parrish passes up a three ball. Instead finds Kenyon along the right baseline. He drives, lay it up, score it! And she's fouled. And one opportunity for Kenyon. And so we pride ourselves in being a very tough defensive team. We'll full court press, we'll trap, we'll run and jump, we'll do a lot of things to just try to force the other team to play quickly. Uh, and then we're in great condition. Underneath, nice no call there. His speed shot was blocked by Kenyon. Kendall had her hand straight up. The shot was blocked. Some uh, physical contact that goes out of bounds off with the Don. So we're uh, upping our game in our facilities and our recruiting. And uh, I think we're just kind of becoming a bigger program that more people are going to be aware of in the future due to the fact that, you know, we're in a better conference. Um, we are uh, adding more uh, sports teams to our school and our facilities are just improving and uh, looking pretty cool. Oh, Kenyon breaks free, flip it up, score! Kenyon with her eighth point on a beautiful feed. Nobody contested her. I definitely think we've all built lifelong relationships with each other and we might not talk every day or every week. Um, it could be years down the road or down the line, but I think when we do talk, it will be like we never skipped a beat and we'll always have fun together and we'll always have each other's backs no matter what. Fire, 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 fire.